I'm Gaffney and I am greatly concerned about our uh, beaches and oceans. I came to live here at Litchfield by the Sea about four years ago and I started immediately picking up plastic from the beach. A long time ago at Furman University in Greenville, South Carolina, a professor had told me that a balloon could choke a bird. And somewhere in the recesses of my mind I stored that. And as I started to pick up plastic on the beach, something rang off in my brain and I realized that the properties in balloons and plastic are very similar. And so much plastic washing out to sea could not possibly be good for our marine life. I was so concerned about this that I started a letter writing campaign to people that I thought would be interested in the issue. I wrote to um, the Honourable Al, Al Gore, Michael Moore, Oprah Winfrey, Philippe Cousteau, but without much success. So having little success with the letter writing campaign, I decided to Google plastic pollution in the ocean and up popped Captain Charles Moore and the Marine Search Foundation. So I immediately then started a letter emailing campaign to Marietta, the secretary at the Marine Foundation, and she told me all about the uh, foundation and exactly what Charles Moore was doing. How this happened was that Captain Charles Moore, a sailor, was on his way back from Hawaii after a trip to Los Angeles when he accidentally found himself in the middle of this huge garbage patch. He was absolutely amazed. He said he sailed for one whole week and he never saw anything else, only plastic. Bottles, bags, cigarette lighters, plastic cutlery, toys, balls, uh, balloon debris, all sorts of things. So when he got back to Los Angeles, he decided that he was going to devote the rest of his life to plastic pollution in the ocean. He has been working on this for 11 years and he is the leading source of uh, plastic pollution in the oceans. He has made many trips out to this great Pacific garbage uh, patch. Now the patch is made, is formed by a gyre. A gyre is a natural phenomenon which uh, creates currents in the ocean coming from uh, both sides of the Pacific Ocean. If you think of uh, the Pacific Ocean as a bathtub, with the west coast of the US as one side and uh, the east coast of Asia as the other side, the currents of the ocean coming from both sides circulate into a swirling vortex and this is where all the plastic is accumulating. At the moment it's estimated to be about twice the size of Texas and uh, growing every second. Plastic is just flowing out into this uh, jar at a, a phenomenal rate. Since he discovered the jar in the Pacific, Captain Moore has since uh, found four other jars. One more in the South Pacific, two in the Atlantic and one in the Indian Ocean. The plastic does not biodegrade. Uh, plastic never goes away. Every piece of plastic that has ever been found in the ocean is still there. Just recently they found a piece from a uh, piece of plastic from a World War II aeroplane uh, which was still out there. Uh, plastic actually photodegrades. That means that when it's floating in the water and it's hit by the sun rays it hardens and becomes very brittle and it will break up into smaller and smaller pieces until eventually the plastic is so small that it cannot be seen by the naked eye. Uh, Captain Moore went out with a uh, manta and he has taken many measurements of the uh, surface of the water and uh, his, in his last uh, piece of research he has discovered Theranum plankton uh, which is very distressing because the fish are eating the uh, the fish are eating the, the plastic as well as the plankton. Now, once I had discovered uh, Captain Charles Moore and started my letter writing campaign, simultaneously a lady from uh, UNC Wilmington had also discovered Captain Moore. But instead of writing letters, Bonnie hopped on a plane and went out to Los Angeles to meet Captain Moore. 
And the two of them got together and Bonnie actually went on two particular trips with him to research the plastic in the ocean. As a consequence of that, Bonnie invited Captain Moore to uh, make a presentation at UNC in Wilmington and uh, Marietta from the Marine Foundation emailed me to tell me about it. So my husband and um, a friend uh, and myself went up to Wilmington to hear Captain Moore. Uh, we met him in person. He's a very impressive uh, gentleman, totally devoted to this problem of plastic in the ocean. As few people from Polly's Island could go to Wilmington, we decided to bring Wilmington to Polly's Island. And so we invited Bonnie Montalano to come to uh, Litchfield and give a similar presentation to the ocean-loving folks from Polly's about this uh, plastic problem in the, in the ocean. The plastic, um, it's, in a way, it is a, an inadvertent sort of extermination because uh, much of the wildlife is becoming extinct due to the plastic. Uh, the animals mistake the plastic for jellyfish and they will eat it and um, they either choke on the plastic or the plastic is stuck in their intestine and um, they starve to death. Uh, the loggerhead turtle which has been here for millions and millions of years uh, is becoming extinct in part due to plastic. Dolphins are washing ashore because of plastic in their intestines. Whales, seals, um, and the albatross birds far in the uh, Antarctic Ocean are dying because of plastic. Plastic is floating in the ocean as far away as the Arctic Circle and as far south as the Antarctic Circle. The albatross chicks are that live um, on the islands of the Antarctic uh, are dying because their parents, uh, their, the, the parents uh, who take care of them, are feeding them with all sorts of plastic water bottle tops, cigarette lighters, plastic cutlery, uh, children's toys, Lego pieces, and Atoll, um, the Atoll, one of the, the islands out in the middle of the Antarctic, is a virtual graveyard of albatross chicks. It's a crying shame because the albatross is one of the most magnificent flying machines in the world. This is an absolutely mammoth, mammoth problem. One small uh, thing that we can do is to try and eliminate plastic from our lives. Everybody must carry their own reusable, everlasting plastic bag. We should give up plastic water bottles, we should be drinking from stainless steel, uh, we must not put uh, any sort of plastic in the microwave oven. Um, the plastic uh, both leaches and absorbs toxic chemicals. It absorbs BPTs and DDTs and it leaches uh, hormone disruptors which are changing the sexes of fish, causing obesity with children.